I was captured in New Jersey in 1973 after being shot with both arms held in the air and then shot again from the back. I was left on the ground to die, 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 die. In 1979, I was able to escape with the aid of some of my fellow comrades. I saw this as a necessary step, not only because I was innocent of the charges against me, I was also afraid that I would be murdered in prison. When J. Edgar Hoover falsely labeled the Black Panthers as domestic terrorists, the police had the green light to shoot Black Panther members on sight, which is one of the reasons many Panthers decided to go covert, which resulted in the formation of the Black Liberation Army that would function in an underground capacity. Asada Shakur, revolutionary, formerly known as Joanne Chesimard, who was raised back and forth between Queens, New York, and Wilmington, North Carolina, was known as the heart and soul of the BLA. Sister of Matulu Shakur, who was married to a Phoenix Shakur, mother of Tupac, who was Matulu's stepson. Asada joined the Black Panther Party in 1970, but departed for the BLA after sensing she would be expelled as she challenged some of the policies within the Panther Party. On May 2nd, 1973, at 12.45 a.m., Asada was riding down the New Jersey Turnpike with Zaid Malik Shakur, as well as Sundiata Akoli, when they were pulled over by New Jersey State Troopers for allegedly having a busted taillight. Not long after, a shootout would ensue, with both sides claiming the other shot first. Trooper Warner Foster, who was shot in the head twice with his own gun, as well as Zaid Malik Shakur, will both be pronounced dead. Did you shoot Warner Foster? No, I did not. I was shot with my arms in the air, then shot again in the back, and then left on the ground to die. Were you holding a weapon? No, I was not. Harper, who was the other police Correct. that was at the, the scene, other trooper. started to shoot. And, you know, after that, everything is like foggy. It was, it was horrible. It was like a prolonged version of hell. You know, I felt like, you know, everything was moving around. My chest started to explode. My head started to explode. And the next thing I knew, you know, they were um, coming by me and saying, is she dead yet? Is she dead yet? And I was later taken to a hospital. Um, and I was um, beaten, I was tortured. They wanted to just kill me. They wanted to see me dead, dead, dead. Did. Asada would state that while in the hospital, the police would continue to torture her, even at one point laying Zaid Malik's dead body next to her. In the midst of her horrendous treatment, she would receive compassion from a German nurse who protested the tightness of the cuff on her ankle. She would also cover Asada's ankle with gauze and show her the call button if she needed help. Asada would not only be charged with the murder of Trooper Foster, she would also be charged with the death of Zaid Shakur as well, even though she wasn't the person who pulled either trigger. She was held in solid military confinement for more than a year in the basement of a men's prison. After years of incarceration, she was finally brought to trial, which was considered a farce. Asada's lawyer called it a legal lynching as her defense was presented with insurmountable hurdles. She was found guilty on seven counts and given a mandatory life sentence. Under the COINTELPRO program, many political activists were harassed, imprisoned, murdered, or otherwise neutralized. As a result of being targeted by COINTELPRO, I, like many other young people, was faced with the threat of prison, underground, exile, or death. The FBI, with the help of local police agencies, systematically fed false accusations and fake news articles to the press, accusing me and other activists of crimes we did not commit. Although in my case the charges were eventually dropped or I was eventually acquitted, the national and local police agencies created a situation where based on their false accusations against me, any police officer could shoot me on sight. sight, sight. I was taken to a local hospital where I was threatened, beaten, and tortured. In 1977, I was convicted in a trial that can only be described as a legal lynching.
November 2nd, 1979. BLA members posing as prison visitors draw 45 caliber pistols and take two COs hostage at Clinton Correctional Facilities for Women. Tupac would actually be held in a men's Clinton Correctional Facility years later. Using the COs as hostages, they were able to escape with the Sada after seizing a prison van. Once outside of the prison, they released two guards unharmed, switched vehicles, and made their escape. What happened? Well, between 1 and 4 p.m. on Friday is visiting time at Clinton. Apparently, uh, Joanne Chesimard had some visitors who came to this gate right here at the uh, edge of the institution. Their ID was checked. They went in to visit her uh, in South Hall. South Hall is our maximum security building here. We have 17 women in that building. Uh, they pulled guns, were able to uh, overpower a couple of officers, a male and female officer, and get her out put the officers in the back of the van, and they drove the van across an unfenced area in the back of the institution to the adjoining Hunterdon State School. There they got out of the van and fled in vehicle or vehicles, and the officers freed themselves and were uninjured. And after being a fugitive for several years, Asada would make her escape to Cuba.